In the news today, after enduring abuse for more than a decade at the hands of her husband, the East Bank Demerara woman saw her life flash before her eyes when her husband attempted to kill her on Monday. The woman is now pleading with women in similar situations to believe it when their partner threatens to kill them and leave. The heads of joint services also wish to inform the public that the police is in receipt of reports and evidence of assault on members of the public, and have since arrested three persons, and will continue in their efforts to arrest and prosecute others who were identified breaking the law. Relatives of murdered Haresh Singh complain of daily threats, intimidation. Family members of 17-year-old Haresh Singh who was killed in the back dam of No. 3 Village, West Coast Burbese on Wednesday are complaining of daily threats by those persons who have taken up the calls for justice in the murder of teen cousins Joel and Isaiah Henry. Even when you come to cook and you see them you have to run back to the back, we have to go away from here, we can't stay here no more oh god. Businessman arrested in relation to leaked Roger Khan's sex video. A popular gold trader and businessman, Azreddin Muhammad, was arrested on Monday and later released on bail as investigators commenced their probe into a sex tape of Shahid, Roger, Khan that was leaked and went viral on social media over a week ago. Khan told investigators that on August 31, a close female associate and two other friends came over to his home and later that evening, they had sex. During intercourse, Khan said the woman held a phone but he paid no mind to it. The very next day, he said, he received a telephone call informing him that a sex video of him is being circulated on social media. Upon making contact with the woman, Khan said she informed him that the businessman took possession of her phone and found the video. She reportedly told Khan that she received a beating and the video was released. Permission was never given for the video to be released. Khan told news outlets that the matter stemmed from a two-year property dispute between him and the businessman. He also expressed high confidence in law enforcement to handle the case professionally. The case of the chief elections officer Keith Lowenfield was put off in the Georgetown Magistrates Court Friday as a representative from the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, did not show up in court. The parties were given until October 9 to get all their files in. The trial is then expected to start on October 26. Senior counsel Neil Boston, the attorney for Lowenfield, was adamant that there is no case against his client and said he will be seeking a dismissal of the case. President Daly meets with relatives of slain West Coast Burbese teens and pretty Paul Hargobin. Assures families of swift justice and government support. His Excellency, President Irfan Ali, today, met with the families of the West Coast Burbese slain teens, Isaiah and Joel Henry and Haresh Singh at their homes, to personally express his condolences and to assure them of his government's support in bringing the perpetrators to justice. Mingo slapped with additional electoral fraud charge. Embattled returning officer for Electoral District 4, Demerara, Mahaika, Claremont Mingo was, on Friday, slapped with an additional charge of electoral fraud when he appeared at the Georgetown Magistrates Court.